Hello guys and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the camera flash transition effect in Premiere Pro. So over here on my timeline, I've got two clips. Basically, you need two clips to create this effect. First, you need a video of a camera and then you're going to need a video you want to transition into. So the first thing you need to do is to go in between your two clips over here. And once you are perfectly aligned in the center of your clips here, what you need to do is to move one frame forward by hitting on this step forward one frame right arrow. Then you select this second clip and move it away to create one frame in between these two clips. Now you need to move two frames forward by hitting on this right arrow twice and make a cut over here. Now use this back arrow to move back to this other clip here and move two frames backward and make another cut over here. Go back to your selection key and select this portion over here. Now move over to your video effects and search for the lens flare effect and drag this lens flare effect onto this portion of this clip. And as you can see, the lens flare has been applied. Now what you want to do is go down under your effects control panel. Make sure that your lens type is 50 to 300 millimeter zoom. Move the position of your lens flare to where the flash will normally come out from in your camera and align it properly. The next thing you do is to select these both clips over here and hit on Alt and drag them up to duplicate them and select this portion once more. Move over to your opacity and under your blend mode you turn it to linear dodge and move to this other clip over here, the first one at the top here and also change the opacity blend mode to linear dodge. Now in between here, what you're going to add is a white color. So what I'm going to do is to select these both clips here and move them above. Come over here and create a new color mat and set the color to white and hit OK. Now I'm going to drag my color mat and place it directly in between that one frame. Use the razor tool here to cut my color mat and drag it directly in between this empty frame over here and cut this excess. So now when I hit on play, you can see the camera flash transition that we have created over here. The next thing you can do is to add a camera shutter sound. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you found this very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.